What we're going to do is we're going to set the ultimate base unit up on a Hopkins press right from the beginning to where we print numbers and logos and everything. Um, at first, this is, a, uh, this is a Hopkins press. It's pretty much royal blue in color. Um, start out with just the bare arm here. What you do is you pick this up. You always want to make sure that this is tight because if it's not, it'll slide back and forth and you can pinch your fingers. What I do is I slide it up to where this, this channel comes up to right, right there. And I tighten it up. There's two knobs over on this side. That one, and this one. So basically it's just like putting a pallet on. And then you can loosen this up and that will make it so it slides back and forth. Okay? Your pallet, if there wasn't a pallet on it when you got it, this knob right here, whoops, this knob right here is your pallet release. Just tighten it back on there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our head down. And what I do is I usually slide this press, there's a knob right here, right hand side, just loosen it up be able to slide it front to back. I'll slide it up probably about a half inch to an inch just above the head. I take my arm unit. There's two knobs here. Just loosen them up. This will be your off contact for your rear. Just let them out. Put it in like it was a regular screen, center it up the best you can. You'll probably move it again, so just kind of get it close. Tighten it in. What do is just push it back just a little bit. <coughs> this is your front. Off contact plus your pin registration. What we'll do is we'll take a number, number nine here, some holes in the bottom of the screen, lock it into place, both of them. As you can see, it moves around all over the place. And what we we'll do is uh, kind of center it. Well, actually, I should do some crop marks on there first. Mark so you can get the center point of your palette. I usually go down it's about three inches because I'm going to put a logo with this. So this is going to be the bottom of my logo. I'll go right in there. see where I drew my crop marks. What I want to do is put it probably about a half inch below that crop mark, that line that I put there. And I'll tighten it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our, our off contact with the head of the press. This here needs to go down a little bit in front. If it's not completely square, this is where I go back and I loosen this up just a little bit. Just kind of line it up like it was a one color. Okay. Should be good. Actually, I'm going to get a little bit more in the back here. Should 
be all set to print numbers. Now, if I want to put a logo above this, I know my number lies about a half inch below this line here. If you have a side clamp that you're going to use, just pop that in there, or if you're using a 20 by 24 screen, if you burn it high enough you wouldn't need this. But this does make life a little easier. Now it's very important that this here, this back clamp, is up all the way. What you want to do, it's going to help with the weight of the back clamp, the weight of the springs and everything so it doesn't flop around as much. This is, this is fairly heavy. Okay. Screen. So I'm going to put that right on that line that I drew earlier. Another reason why we keep this up high in the back is so we have a lot of off contact in the, in the, in the back because this is where your number is going to be. So if we want to print wet on wet, we're going to do the trick of using your off contact so we don't have to flash in between all the steps that we do. But I'll bring the front down a little bit so it's easier to print. Show it on there. Should be all good. After all that. There. So this here I'm printing is a logo with a ten or a ten, yeah, a logo with a ten inch number. First I'm gonna do my number. video doing that. I used my off contact, so now I didn't get that number down here. All I do is flash it, put my second color. On. Flash is mine. And that's it. Yeah. 